Welcome back to Believe in Colts. I'm Lawrence Owen. Gerard Powers is unable to make it with me today for this special episode. We have a great special guest. Fifth round selection for the Indianapolis Colts in the 2022 NFL Draft. Missouri State defensive tackle, Eric Johnson. But before we get started, I just want to remind you that our partners at Bet Online continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest sports developments, including updated odds on the NBA and NHL playoffs, Major League Baseball fights, and even next season's NFL futures. Bet Online is your continued source for all your sports wagering needs, including live betting and your favorite Vegas casino and poker games. It's super easy to get started, so head on over to the website today or use your mobile device to join and use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet Online, where the game starts. Now let's go, let's go talk to Eric for a little bit, shall we? Welcome back to Believe in Colts. I have a special guest today. Wow. Fifth round pick for the Indianapolis Colts out of Missouri State. The 6'4", 300-pound defensive tackle, Eric Johnson. How are you doing, my guy? I'm doing great, man. It's doing good. Oh, awesome. Well, it's it's kind of early. I mean, not too early for those of us, those of you who play, you know, professional sports in the NFL. Uh, but, hey, I'm just curious, man. What's a 300-pound defensive lineman eat generally for breakfast? <laughs> um, you know, before, it was pretty much whatever I can get my hands on. You know, now, you know, now that I'm going to a whole new league, I got to probably change up those habits just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's well known that, you know, the, the Colts have a, a, a dietary plan that they generally kind of put out for players and stuff. So I was just curious. I know that Michael Pittman Jr. has a – I don't know, a love-hate relationship with McDonald's. So <laughs> it's kind of one of those things. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I could definitely I could definitely uh feel them on that one. I'm, I'm, I'm not really the the breakfast guy for McDonald's, but you know, those uh those double quarter pounders do be speaking to me every once in a while. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So my co-host, uh former Indianapolis Colts cornerback Gerard Powers was unable to make it this morning, but he was kind enough to send me a couple questions. So I'm gonna open it up with those. Uh, he wants to know, how do you think your style of play will fit with this Colts defense? Um, see, I feel like the for me that's a that's a little bit of a harder question because when I think of my style of play is is just adaptability because um you know my role within the team had always been to cover you know the most spots whether it be from from the inside as a nose guard to a three tech and tackle, or sometimes even, you know, in on the outside. So um, my style was always adapting to whatever the situation uh, may be. So I feel like uh, for the Colts, it can, um, it'll just be wherever they uh, feel like putting me. And then, you know, mostly be in the three tech, a little bit of nose and stuff like that. And, you know, I'll just be bouncing around all over the place. Yeah. I saw that in your uh, introductory presser that uh, you said, you know, you're, you're good with the four and five as well. So that's, that's uh good to know that you, you feel like you could slide around all over that, uh, that defensive line makes you more um, available to the coaches. Speaking of, of availability during your college career, if I remember reading correctly, uh, you had five blocked kicks. What? Five. Yeah. How but, uh, important. Then- it lists to you lower, but I definitely had around there. Okay, okay. How important is it to you, uh, to to make a, a an impact on special teams with with this NFL with the Colts unit? Yeah, it's really like every uh, you know what our, my coach always used to say to us is that every opportunity to put up either put up points or take away points from the uh, from the board is always important. So mm-hmm. one of our focuses on special teams was that, and like I always felt like my ability to just go out and penetrate with that was one of our um was like a key in helping take away some of those few points that we can get and it even helped us you know win, win games at times being being up or down by those one points i know we had a there was one a few years back against illinois state where it literally came down to if they can get this field goal or not and then you know i got out blocked the blocked the kick and we ended up winning so 
Awesome. Um, the other question that came from Gerard was, uh, you're coming from a small school. Uh, do you feel like you have something to prove to people who may or may not have seen you play before? Well, there's always something to prove because uh, until you become one of those guys like Tom Brady that everybody knows your name, no one's going to know who you are until, you know, until they happen to see the point. So there's always something to prove whether or not I'm coming from, um, you know, Missouri State or somewhere else. But obviously, um, just from being from a smaller school, there's probably going to be more people than usual that won't consider me uh, to be as much of a big help. So, you know, I'm just go out, do what I do, and then, you know, they'll see for themselves. Has any, um, not just coaches, I'm sure coaches have reached out to you, but have any players reached out to you and be like, hey, man, if you need anything, hit me up. Here's my number. Yeah, actually, <laughs> um, one of my one of my um, senior D linemen, uh, the four, uh, the four Buckner, actually reached out to me, um, you know, on draft day. You know, he gave me his number, wanted to say, you know, what's up to me, welcome me, and stuff like that. And, you know, we're just ready to get everything started. So he did. He did actually reach out to me. That's awesome, man. DeForest Buckner's my favorite player. Uh, I, I can say this because I'm not technically media. So I, I could say, you know, DeForest is my favorite player on that defense. So uh, um, I was very happy when they when they traded for him. Um, is there a guy that you think that, that's in the NFL that, that you watched growing up uh, and coming through your high school and college ranks that you kind of feel like, you know, that's someone similar to you that you, you wanted to kind of, um, you know, base yourself on throughout, you know, coming in? No, I actually can't say uh, I can't say I did. Most of um, most of my uh, football stuff came from my dad because he used to play before me. So growing up, because we played the same position, he was always like uh, my mentor, my coach growing up. So I never watched anybody else from the NFL um, coming up or modeled it after because I already had someone like, like in my corner that basically kind of like showed me everything. Wow. That's that's in, that's awesome. Uh, it's always good to have family there to be able to kind of help you out. Um, what were you doing at the time when uh, your number was called by the Colts in the fifth round? Yeah, I was. Um, so we were at my agent's house for um, like kind of a watch party. You know, I had my I had my girlfriend, my friends, my family and everybody was uh, kind of just around hanging out, chatting and stuff like that. And I was sitting on the couch, um, you know, watching watching the draft going on. I had my phone. Uh, on my lap so I could feel the vibration of anything went off. And, um, you know, I was kind of looking up and then um, my agent had, uh, had said something, had said something to me. I kind of looked over to him. Like, I was trying to, I was trying to hear him. And then all of a sudden the phone started ringing. I looked down and once I saw uh, the area code and said from India, I instantly knew at that point where I was going. That's awesome. That's awesome. Is there anything that you would like to tell the fans of the Indianapolis Colts before we get out of here? Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, something about you, what to look out for, anything of that nature? Um, I don't really know. Was, uh, that was my first time kind of like uh, addressing myself to fans, I guess. Um, uh, I would just say, you know, I'm excited to be i've actually heard i've actually heard a lot from you know with everything going on recently and how um kind of got introduced to you know the cult's culture and stuff you know uh i've heard that we've got some pretty great fans so you know i'm excited to kind of get to see everybody get to see how it is kind of just you know and myself into just so you know, i'm ready to kind of see how this all goes and you know join the family basically absolutely in training camp <clears throat> you're gonna have you know during that whole spread of training camp Fans are there, uh, out there. And I'm telling you, the facility out there at Grand Park is absolutely gorgeous, especially when it's a nice day outside, sitting outside. Uh, you'll have fans all the way across yelling and screaming the whole time. And it's just, it's, it's a great experience. So, uh, you know, uh, welcome to Indianapolis. Welcome to the Colts. Uh, I, I hope you have a great and wonderful career in, uh, as a professional in the NFL. And thank you again, for taking time out to sit, sit with me and answer a few questions. Oh, no problem. Thank you for having me. 
And appreciate it. And that was Eric Johnson, the new defensive tackle for the Indianapolis Colts, fifth round out of Missouri State. And until next time, I'm Lawrence Owen for Gerard Powers. This was Believe in Colts, brought to you by Bet Online. And until next time, as usual, go Colts. <laughs>